What's going on guys? It's your boy Ray. Welcome back to an episode of Bleach Brave Souls and in today's video we are going to be reacting to the Camp for Your Own World final banner, I believe so, gameplay live guys. Gameplay live on stream with the homies. You guys can't see them right now in chat but we are here live and uh, we got early access to gameplay. Shout out to Nichigo for linking me this gameplay and shout out to the YouTuber. I, I gotta check his name for getting this gameplay early. This is level one gameplay, just so you guys know, this isn't them at their max potential, but it's a good chance for us to look at how their strong attacks are. But don't forget, they are gonna get incredibly more powerful when they achieve Havoc, Frenzy, and everything that comes with it. So don't um, don't judge them too quickly. So we're gonna start off with Aura, and uh, I'm excited, I'm so excited. Let's get it to make sure the volume's okay, and let's do it, guys. Here we go, Aura gameplay. So. Oh, oh, that was awesome. So visuals and gameplay mechanics might change before or after release. Please wait for the official gameplay reveal to see characters at its maximum level. So here we go, guys. This is what she has right now. She has um, her stats and skills. She, so she has Frenzy and Havoc in this video, guys. Frenzy and Havoc. Um, and she has her 12% uh, SAR. So here we go. Oof, awesome. Aura, she's flying, guys. Let's go. Okay. Oh my. Wow. Look at that. Nod string. Like, just the cosmetics on it already. Okay, I'll let it play once, and then I'll... We'll go through it. Okay, first strong attack. Strong attack two. Strong attack three. Wow, okay. Okay, strong attack one again. Strong attack two, so it's a pushback vortex. And then strong attack three. Okay, boys. Oh, I'm just happy it's a full screen, guys. Oof, that honestly, that first strong attack is pretty nice. Wow. Oof. Oh. Wow. Okay. They killed that ultimate, boys. And just so you know, she's level one. You saw her damage output against these 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 units, right? You saw the damage output. Third strong attack is killing almost her alt at level one cleared two phases. Two phases. Wow, that is a that devastation plus 40 is awesome. Whoa. Dude, her at five for five is gonna nuke so hard. So hard. Soul bomb's best part. Yeah, so if we're gonna be completely honest, the gameplay looks okay. There's nothing too special about her. Um I really like her not string cosmetics. Very pretty looking. Doesn't look too strong. Um, her vortex is pretty awesome because you have to remember that it hits 20 times. And each time it hits has a 2% chance to proc uh, weaken. I believe she has debilitator. So she gets 7% chance to proc weaken. Or 2% chance to proc weaken for 7 seconds. So it's pretty good for uh, some events. This one. It's a 20 hit vortex, guys. So yeah flashy sa and flashy nad and really strong ultimate she's gonna be a solid nuke unit if you guys are trying to nuke she's awesome let's watch this one more time and we're gonna go on to hikone wow oh. wow i love the sound of that that nuke that doof. Okay, so what we were saying uh, in our video, guys, was that this ultimate, the fact that she makes this fire and uh, this fire and water dragon, and see how they spin together, I wish that was her second strong attack vortex. That would have been so cool. Instead of this, it could have been the fire and the ice dragon spinning together. I think that would have been a little cooler, and they could have given her maybe a different ultimate, but still awesome. Cool unit. Honestly, Aura, 
nothing insane, but we like her. We like her. Still, still Bay, but they shafted her a bit, guys. They shafted her a bit. But awesome alt and uh, very cool mechanics for her strong attacks. Okay. Next, we're going to go to the homie Hikone, bro. Hikone, bro. And let's uh, jump below. Hi. Okay, so this is his stats in the video, guys. Havoc, cooldown, frenzy. So just like, um, just like, uh, uh, what's her name was? Just like Aura was. Oh, was that really loud? Hi. Hi. Okay, I'm going to lower my mic. Sorry, guys, if I wrecked you. Okay. Okay, off the bat, I like that Nat string. These Nat strings are very flashy. Okay, strong attack one. Whoa. Okay, let me play it full. Sorry, guys. I gotta stop pausing. Okay, I like him, man. Okay, strong attack one. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Oof, I like that. I... Okay. And he has Sprinter plus two. Don't forget that, guys. He's so fast. Oh! Oh! Why am I getting a fake taxi video? Okay. Wow. Flashy, but okay. Definitely. Uh, if he had flurry, he would have been sick. Flurry, poise, flurry, poise, and frenzy. Okay. Honestly, looks looks awesome. I I love I love the concept so far of this character. Um, I wish he wasn't power. If he was, I'm about to have an orgasm. If he wasn't power, if he was green. I would have loved him because I really need a strong green unit. Um, he would have been awesome. We don't need any more power weakened type characters, but boys, he looks really sick. I actually am more excited for Hikone now, like a lot more excited. Um, that second essay is so cool. It's a it's a quick vortex followed by a knockback, just like Uryu's, and I love that concept. And his first strong attack is one of the strongest in the game. It has such a big range, or is his third? One of the two. Oh, I love it. Oh my god. The range, man. Oof, that's sick. Man. Really good range, man. Really good range. But Hikone always has good range. Always Hikone has been known for range. So flashy. I love it. If you don't have any good power characters, he is awesome. If you don't have Bunkai Shinji or 5th Anniversary Ichigo, he is such a good unit for to replace that. Wow. I love this ultimate. Just off the bat, like, my man's going Super Saiyan. Oh my god. Guys, the aura is sick. He's a sick character. I I am more excited for Hikone now, definitely. Especially Especially guys, look at it. Look at his body. He's animated. His character model is kind of animated. His pants, his arm. I love that concept of him. Not just his aura, but he's also kind of animated on his clothing, and I really like that. That is a cool concept. What a scary looking character, man. What a scary looking character. Okay. Um Compared to Aura, this was a step up. Aura looked not bad, cool, but nothing crazy. Hikone definitely impressed me. But now we saved the best. Uh, we saved the best for last, my boys. So let's go on to the homie Shuhei. Give me one second. Let me just check one thing.
Okay, my boys. We're going to go on to the homie Shuhei. And let's see Shuhei's gameplay live, all right? I'm so excited for this. This is the one we were waiting for. And, uh... Okay, so, first off, his... He doesn't look anything crazy. He looks like the basic Shuhei model we would get. So, nothing insane here, but that's how he looks, uh, I guess, in the uh, anime too. Because this is not released Bunkai. He releases Bunkai as his ultimate. So, here we go. Oh, here we go, boys. Okay. Okay, now it's string. Cool. A little slow. First strong attack. Okay. Look at his ultimate. Look at his ultimate uh, icon. I, that's new. I've never seen that before. Okay. Let's see his second again. Okay, so it's... We'll break it down after. Nice full screen. Okay, boys. It's a debuff? Oh, okay. Oof. Okay, so... So, uh, I wish he used it against the boss. So, I believe with his ultimate, guys, he debuffs attack, defense, and he increases his own uh, attack, or SP and focus, I believe, by 30% from what I'm hearing. Um, let's go one more time. So, Nat String looks a bit slow. A bit slow of an Astring, but he is a SAR character, which is good. Yeah. This one I'm having a little bit of trouble understanding. It's a Vortex, but it's a quick Vortex and then a Slash Forward. Flashy, but... Let's see it in action. Hold on. And then a hit forward. Okay. His first strong attack is a typical lunge forward. And then a full screen attack. Okay, boys. So, so, so far, if I had to rate them um, by visuals and gameplay, I want to say that I want to give Hikone number one, Shuhei number two for, for gameplay. Uh, not for visuals, for like actual power. He's going to be stronger than Aura number three. But Aura has more aesthetic pleasing than Shuhei does. I think Shuhei is the most underwhelming when it comes to aesthetics uh just his character model is kind of boring uh his nods his nod string is kind of boring his strong attacks are not like they're not too flashy they're kind of flashy but nothing crazy not that flashy matters they're just aesthetically pleasing um <laughs> A character that can regenerate himself that they didn't give last ditch to, boys. How does that make sense? Or they didn't give him 10 second invulnerability after he ults. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Aura's kit puts her in last place. Shuhei's kind of boring, I guess. And Hikone actually looks pretty sick, man. Hikone actually looks pretty sick. But guys, all I'm going to say is wait to test for them yourself, okay? Wait to test for them yourself because this is only level one. So you guys are seeing kind of like a weak gameplay. Wait till you see them level 200 before you form your final opinion because you never know. When they're 200 with good links, good everything, these might actually do good damage. There's characters that have come out that we thought were trash that once we played them, maxed them out, they actually were pretty fantastic units. So don't count them out yet, but I agree with you guys. He doesn't look anything crazy. Not gonna overhype it. He looks mediocre. Which is sad. Which is sad. But um, it is what it is. Let me know in the comment section down below which one you guys are most excited for. It's gonna be Hikone for me, followed by Bunkai Shuhei, followed by Aura. Um, even though, like I said, Hikone is the least needed for me out of the three, I do not need another good red character, but I would still love to have Hikone. 
um and then aura also so we'll see what happens but uh yeah hikone definitely wins with me visually um and just his kit in general is awesome so yeah let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below and uh it's been your boy ray smash the thumbs up and uh yeah i'll see you guys at the official gameplay release peace